channel. Um, I'm trying something new with like different recording spaces in my house, so y'all kind of bear with me until I find like the correct space that I actually like. Um, as well as you, I'm saying I try something different. You know, I got some Rick James here going on. You know, probably need to trim it down a little bit, but I like the big curls, so I'm okay. Ah, so guys, um, wait a minute. Before we even get into the video, let's get the housekeeping out of the way, okay? So guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn that notification bell on so that you can get the latest and greatest of what's going on with who? The kids, she ain't um, so today, guys, we are going to be doing another Rev Dolls review. Now, um, actually, this outfit that I have on is from Rev Dolls. I'll step back to kind of give you guys a full look. It's just some pants. It's a white like, crop top that ties up. Oh, Danny's showing in the back. So that's this look, guys. Something simple. Um, if the info card hasn't popped out, it will be momentarily where you can actually click on the link and go and watch the re first review that I did of this actual outfit. As well as I think I have like two or three other videos on my channel um, of like Rev Dolls clothing, dresses and pants and bathing suits like the whole kid and caboodle, shirts off. Um, so they reached out to me again to do another YouTube collaboration, which I'm so honored. I want to thank... God, um, I want to thank my fans. I want to thank Shane Nation. Shane Nation, who rock, who rock, rock. I want to thank uh, my family. Y'all seen that I almost fell. Um, yeah, and the Academy Award goes to Rashina. But anyway, I'm being silly. Okay, guys, so we're just going to go ahead and dive right into the video. Um, also, guys, to let you know, I am actually doing for the entire month of July, I'm going to be doing a collaboration. So collaboration pieces with other YouTube artists, um, <clears throat> I'm open depending on the content of your channel. Um, also various boutiques. So if you know somebody that has their own boutique or whatever the case may be, definitely, you know, don't forget you can email me or you can DM me on Instagram because I always check those too. Um, and my information will be linked down below my email, Instagram, uh, Facebook, all that information will be linked down below. So, now that we got all the housekeeping out of the way, let's put on some clothes. clothes. So, the wig is so much. This wig is so much. Huh. Okay, guys, so the first piece that we have is actually this, like, neon green shirt, and it says Influencer, and I love it. Now, this is a little bit, the fabric is like cotton, it's extremely stretchy, but it is see-through. So, it is a bit, it's a lot, like, kind of different than their other t-shirts. It's not like a normal, like, I mean, it's a very nice shirt, um, but um, it is very stretchy. I, I can't, like, put my finger on it, like, what it is with it, but, so, to show y'all, my bad, it's a 3X. I think this is, like, 25 bucks. Um, so this is the shirt, the side view, guys, the back view, of course the other side in the front. And just to show you, I just have on some like neon slides and leggings, but I'm actually going to make this into a crop top. So if I don't cut it, then I'll do something along the lines of this, the world's smallest knot. So... Because if my shirt's going to come down a certain way and look a certain way, I kind of be like, mm, I don't know. I don't know, Shane. So I just make it. If I don't cut it, which I normally don't like to cut my t-shirts, if I can get this into a knot, I can show y'all. I probably should have started off with a knot and then transition. But, yeah. What's a little fun if Shane Nation can't have nothing, right? All right. Okay, so I got into the world's smallest knot. Then I used to just tuck it, kind of pull it down. Oh, mother of pearl, it is hot. It's probably just hair. So, give you a little small little knot like this. There you go. Ooh. Step back, give you guys the full look. So, yeah, got my leggings, my slides. The back view, side view, and the 
my view again. So usually, yeah, this is usually how I wear my t-shirts, put a fanny pack on with it, and go. And so the next piece that I have is actually this, I can't keep, this, this is taking me over. This hair, I'm going to have to trim it, I'm going to have to. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. The, okay, so the next piece that I have is this, it's like, actually like a bodycon dress. And I'll step back so that you guys can get the full scope of this dress. It's actually extremely pretty and long. I just, I ruched the dress. So I like pulled it up a bit on me. Because had I not, the dress would have been like down to my knee or mid calf. Mind you guys, I'm only 5'2". So yeah. So this is the side profile of the dress, guys. This is the back of the dress. The other side. And the front of the dress. So, um, it is a spaghetti strap body kind. Now, do keep in mind, guys, that these straps are not adjustable. This is, I believe, a 3X, but it is cotton, and it's so crazy soft, and it's so freaking stretchy. Um, per the norm with rep doll pieces that I love is that here at the bottom, it allows you to get, like, as wide as you need to, and it still snaps back. So it still gives you that snap back, like, you know, so when you sit, and you know how your thighs spread when you sit, honey, and then you know how sometimes over time when you're sitting in a dress and like you sit down and your thighs spread, how the bottom of the dress can start to lose a shape. That's not the case with this dress. It snaps back, which I love. So I love how it just like molds to your frame. So it molds to your body. Um, this is like their medium fabric. Again, I love it. I absolutely love this. Ooh, I cannot wait to wear this out, honey. This is short. Even with the Rick James wig, honey, she is cute. She's cute. So the next piece, this is actually very cute. It's a top. Um, now, the top is like just, I kind of give y'all a whole 360, so I'll step back. I just have on some slides with this because the shoes that I want to, that I would normally wear with this I don't have. So I'm going to get me some. But this is the side view, guys. This is the back view of the skirt. I mean, not the skirt, but the top. The other side view of it. And the front. I actually like this. Um, I don't have on a bra, of course, because y'all know I don't like wearing bras. Um, but yeah, so it's like a navy blue. It's like a rayon kind of cotton blend. This, guys, is a 3X if the um, card didn't pop out with the price and stuff. Um, but it's like a pink and a red. and It's like the stripes. It's like more like a ivory. So it's not like a startling white. But this is cute. However, here's the thing with this. This is nothing under here. So if you wear this, guys, you definitely have to wear some kind of bra under this. Because... Just to kind of give you guys a preview, there is nothing. Like nothing. There is nothing there. So you have to be careful. You definitely have to be careful because the wrong wind, honey, and you are flashing everybody. But I actually do like this piece. I mean, it's cute. Man, summertime ain't over yet. Summertime ain't over yet. So it's still room. For bathing suits. Ah, I like this. Okay, guys, so this is actually my first, like, one piece, like, with the opening in the center. Like, the opening center. I've never had one before. So this is my first one. I decided I'd try it out with Rev Dolls. They always do me good. I bought some bathing suits from them. Um, that part will pop out because, honey, that neon bathing suit bottom they have, honey, it's like no other. I mean, like, no other. So, to get into this bad man pajama, bloop, bloop. Okay, guys, so this is the 4X. This is like a neon, coral, hot pink kind of vibe. Um, it has the white lining on the inside. They have one that's like this on the outside, and then the inside was like a cobalt blue, I want to say. And I was trying to get the cobalt blue one, but they ain't had no more, honey. Y'all beat me to it, honey. Y'all beat me to it. Okay, guys, so this is the full of this bathing suit only thing is is that the top I feel like it's it could be a little bit more secure on me um, but it's okay 
okay. I mean, from the front, it definitely looks like a two-piece, and that's okay, too. Um, so this is the front. Of course, guys, this is the side view of it. This is your back profile of the baby suit, guys. And the other side, I love Red Nose baby suits because they are very durable. Um, because even though I can't swim, yeah, I, I can't swim. If you follow my Instagram, you know I'm always somewhere at a beach or a pool. But I can't swim to save my life. But I love going to the pool. I love going to the beach. Um, then I'm always in a bathing suit. I like Red Dog's bathing suits because they don't ride. Usually I have issues with bathing suits. Y'all, they be all in my butt. They be riding. But that's not the case with Red Dog's bathing suits. I don't know what it is or how they do it. And I love it also because it doesn't cut. I'm not being cut here or cut here. Like, I can actually, like, function in this bathing suit, okay? So, we have reached the end of the video. Yes, again, I am going in a bathing suit into the end of the video. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below. Tell me your favorite piece. I'll also post some links with my um, other Rev Doll reviews that I've done. I'll post those, like, in the comments. Um, they'll also probably pop up somewhere on the side if they haven't already. But guys, until next time, Sheen Nation, bye.